Hager to eat up. Kane looking to dodge on Gibson who denied him entry. Vernacchio taking on Daniel Smith. Forced outside again. Here's McGinley. His pass unable to be handled by Kane. Robert Morris secures it. A diving play by Yepsen. Opens up a look for Matt Schmidt who scores. What a pass here by Yepsen. Just rolls it. What a look as you're falling out of bounds. And Schmidt finishes the great effort by Yepsen with a snipe. The second team all NEC -er with number 32 on the year. See how Yepsen's just trying to preserve the ball and it ends up giving Schmidt an open opportunity. A little bit of luck, but they'll take it. Allowed five goals to the defending champs and made 15 saves. Only one in the second half. Just a McGinley scores near side. He had just a little bit of room to wiggle. And Hayes McGinley ties it. Nice job by McGinley getting the righty shot. Gave him a little bit of a better angle. And just caught Hager just slightly off the post. Gave him just enough room. So he switches to his right hand. Gave him a little bit of a better angle on the shot. In there, haste. It's put on the ground. 50-50 ball, and it's back to Robert Morris. Zachary Bryant, drafted by Ohio in the MLL. A lot of Canadians on this Robert Morris roster. That's a box across shot. Great stick skills. Here's an opportunity. Ryan Smith is denied. The rebound picked up by the Colonials. So they work it out to the top again. Here's a rip on goal by Gibson and a stick save by Mike Adler. So St. Joseph's looks for its first lead. No surprise between these two stingy defenses, just two goals combined with almost three minutes left in the first quarter. Championship game from Philadelphia, St. Joseph's and Robert Morris. A trip to the NCAA tournament on the line. Both teams looking to make program history and win their first NEC title. Blew it, dishes. Quick move, shot of the goal. St. Joseph's has the lead as Blew it all started it. Moved it over to Restivo. They got a man curling off the goal line. And St. Joseph's takes the lead on Kyle Kane's strike. Well, they like to have Blewett and Restivo up top, the two attackmen up top on man up. And they find Kane, who just has a rip. Finds top side and just lots of fire. The alley against Zachary Bryant, taking it wide with 10 seconds. All the way around, trying to get free. He's to the cage. He scores with four seconds to go in the quarter. Perfectly executed by the Hawks to take a three to one lead. Here's Kyle Kane again, finds top side. He's just so quick, it's hard to stay with him. Hager had no chance there. See how he finishes low though, that's, that's what coaches tell shooters, finish low. Goalies are looking for that highlight real save. Now Chris blew it. Against Zachary Bryant. Into X and Shane Fable has it. Fable trying to dance around Christensen. That shot wide, a race to the end line. And it's Robert Morris getting the possession. Daniel Smith racing. Colonials go to work in the box. This is what they want. Schmidt hits Ryan Smith off the bench. Smith with an open look and he scores! Ryan Smith cruising in and he goes to the top corner to make it a one goal game. Well, I think a little confusion on the St. Joseph's end. And uh, you see Ryan Smith with this overhand shot. I think Adler, sometimes from a goalie when you see a direct overhand shot like this, you think it's going low and Adler Looked like he was thinking it was going to be off stick low, and it just went right over his shoulder. Ryan Smith onto the field and onto the stat sheet. Came in with 14 goals, 12 assists on the year. Had a goal and an assist in the semifinal win against Bryant. 
You see a lot of these backhanded flip passes. They practice that. They were doing that yesterday in their walkthrough practice. Tyson Gibson, jumper and a goal! And Robert Morris ties it. Tyson Gibson, the two-time first team all NEC selection out of Maple, Ontario. Had another seam, and that's two straight goals for Robert Morris, kind of cruising from the left alley to the middle. It's a good job just using his body to shield the stick here. Just keeps the stick on the left side. And then gets was able to get top side and finishes across his body. Blew it to Thomas Holm. And then back the other way. Restivo fed one over, there's Holm in for the goal! Man up goal for the Hawks! It's a beautiful look here on the man up. Knew it was only 30 seconds, got right into it. Thomas Holm with just his third goal of the season. The freshman out of only Maryland, cruising down the slot, right to the crease. And able to bury the go-ahead goal, four to three. Davis Stoner, so active, dishes off. There's a shot and a goal. It's Will McNamara. It all began with Davis Stoner racing it into the box and then Will McNamara, the graduate senior from Haverford, PA, releases, keeps it low. Well, it's so nice to have a guy like McNamara who's really good on the defensive end but can also snipe one when he, when he needs to. Just steps into it and rips it low. Restivo trying to come around the screen. Restivo getting physical, bounces off the hit of James Skane and scores. 6-3, St. Joseph's. Restivo able to get topside here, knows he has a short stick on him, it's a mismatch. Just uses that stick to wrap it around the defender. Kind of uses the defender to screen the goalie. McNamara into trouble. Now he slips between everybody and gives it up. He got crushed in the open field, and it pops free to Ewing. Smith to the middle. Smith lets it rip. He scores! Ryan Smith gets the first goal of the second half, and Robert Morris has cut it to a two-goal game. A nice move here by Smith. Little stutter step, gets to the middle of the field. Looked like St. Joseph was expecting a slide that just never really, never really came. Stoner kind of backed off him there. I think he was trying to fill in for the slide. Nice Ra shot. Ryan Smith with his second goal of the game. Robert Morris winning the faceoff. Trey Arnold coast to coast, shoots and scores! A fast break goal for the Fogo. Trey Arnold wins it to himself and goes coast to coast. And in a matter of seconds, it's back to a one goal game. Well, both co coaches talked about the importance of faceoffs. A little transition opportunity off the faceoff. A lot of times defenses don't want to slide to the Fogo. They'd rather have the shot from the less experienced shooter. But that was a nice shot. Off stick low. Toughest shot for a goalie to save. Draws the slide of Christensen. It's a rare height in this match for Robert Morris. They're so big defensively. Restivo with the pass. And it is Hager coming up with a big save. Slinging the rock. Schmidt wants it back. Here's the release. He scores! Matt Schmidt, his ninth up goal of the season. Three unanswered for the Colonials. And the championship is tied at six. Well, this is all because of ball movement here. 
Just quick hot potato passing. A little back and forth there, found the opening. And then just a quick release here. Sometimes I'm man up, it's not always about the power, but just getting it off quick. Schmidt is such a weapon in that situation, tied for fourth coming into the tournament. He's able to get a good shot off there. Got around his defender. St. Joe's is fortunate there. Robert Morris still up for another eight seconds. Ryan Smith gets it out. Here's McCauley, he shoots and scores! With one second left on the penalty to Tyler Maycar. Robert Morris scores two up goals on the same penalty, and they have taken a 7-6 lead. Well, we've talked about how good Robert Morris special teams are, defensively and offensively. They just move the ball so quickly. Just a great little sidearm crank from up top. And, you know, lacrosse is a momentum game that uh, Coach McMahon was talking about a good start to the second half was really important, and that killed the start. Sometimes it's good for just creating a turnover and get a quick goal the other way. I think they sense they have St. Joe's on their heels a little bit. Maybe they're just trying to attack that. McGinley fires one into the stick of Hager, who's heating up here in the third quarter. Yeah, he didn't have the first half. He probably Robert Morris looking for transition. Gibson. Moves it over, Schmidt scores! Matt Schmidt. Gibson to Perkins to Schmidt. Five unanswered for Robert Morris. 8-6 the Colonials with a two goal advantage, their largest lead of the game. Well, everything's clicking for Robert Morris right now. Defense is leading, good defense is leading to this offensive spur too. It's five unanswered now for Robert Morris. make his move on Skeen. Vernacchio down the alley, spinning. And the ball is jarred free. Forcing the turnover, it was Mike Evelyn. The shot clock is on. Here's Restivo. Nowhere to go, dumps it underneath that shot. Wouldn't go. Hager leaving the cage, but got back at the last moment. Vernacchio checked by Connor Yepsen. McGinley trying to bully his way in, turns it over. It rolls to the keeper, Hager. And Robert Morris gets the clear. Up by two. A shot and a save as Adler comes up big and then he gets crushed as he goes out for the rebound. Extended for Restivo, forced it into the middle, turned over. Robert Morris comes away with it. Christensen picks up the ground ball. They can go into their offense. Vernacchio to the cage. He's stopped. Hager with a big save. Loose ball. Pops up. It squirts over. An opportunity. Hager makes another save. The rebound of Blewett. Had great seasons. Well, there's also another penalty called. Carter Yepsen gets a minute. So here's an opportunity for the Hawks. Blewett. No look pass underneath. He scores. Kane buries the man up goal. Blew it with a brilliant pass to get him a look from point blank. Beautiful play by Blew it. He's just an excellent decision maker. It gets gets Robert Morris shifting one way. Finds an open man in the crease. Just looking that one way, just shifted the Robert Morris defense, opened it up in the crease. Kyle Kane with the season on the line, ties the championship with 15 seconds remaining. <laughs> kind of caught Robert Morris scrambling a little bit. Hager might not have had a clear look at that shot. Kane just has a rip, too. Morris 
the possession with 20 seconds to go in the first OT. Daniel Smith gives it to Tyson Gibson. 13 seconds left. Gibson dodging into the middle. He scores! Tyson Gibson with a golden goal to win the championship for the Robert Morris Colonials for the first time in school history. They're going to the NCAA tournament. Your final score.